The booming construction sector has resulted in stone and sand suppliers significantly increasing their prices. Minister of Public Works Juan Egel, during an interview with the newsroom, noted that the government remains committed to engaging suppliers to resolve the issue. So far, I know the suppliers are James from Jamaica, but I know it's um, thousands of tons. We have contracts and we have engaged people. We have thousands of tons that have come in. I don't. I don't think what is here is anywhere near to satisfy the demand. But we have started to receive supplies. Acknowledging that stones are being sold at an increased price than the actual value, Agile had warned that business owners who exploit customers may lose business due to their unfair prices. He had noted, however, that sand supply is ample. Right now, through the Ge Geology and Mines Commission, permission has been given to people to operate both sand and laterite pits. That engagement continues, and there is no known shortage of sand or laterite at this time. Mm -hmm. Sand, laterite, or loom. Since last year, there have been shortages in cement and stone, largely due to external supply chain challenges. Those challenges worsened this year with the Ukraine-Russia crisis for their constraining global supply chain efforts. With this, imported materials are both more expensive and less accessible. Agile said that suppliers from Canada and other countries were expected to help meet the demand of the government's construction needs, reducing the pressure placed on the local suppliers and importers. Reporting for the newsroom, I am Lazini Yearwood.